Hey guys, welcome to today's video, which is all about the correct way to play the opening riff to Neon by John Mayer. So let's get started. The tuning for this song is standard E tuning, just regular tuning, but the only difference is you drop the low E string down to a low C. So when you strum a big open C chord with all the strings, it should sound like this. Now the main thing that you need to focus on when you're first attempting to play this riff is the picking pattern that John Mayer uses. So he's mostly using his thumb and his index finger to play this riff. And there's a specific picking pattern which appears throughout the riff and it goes like this. I'm going to demonstrate it on just muted strings for now. I'm not going to focus on any actual notes, just going to focus on the picking pattern which appears throughout the riff. So it basically goes like this. So what's happening there is I'm picking the lowest string, the, the low C, with my thumb, and then I'm going index finger on the D, then thumb on the G, and index finger on the B. So it's just alternating thumb, index, thumb, index. So that picking pattern appears in several places throughout that riff. Now let's look at the first part of the riff, which goes like this. And please excuse me for not playing this very well right now. It is quite a challenge to play this riff slowly. I know that might sound weird because you would think it'd be really hard to play fast, which it is, but breaking it down slowly without hitting any unwanted strings is actually quite a challenge here. So do forgive me for that. Here's that first part again. So what's happening there is I am applying that picking pattern to the first four notes in the bar. So you've got open C with a thumb, dead note on the D string with the index, dead note with the G string and the thumb, and then fret eight with the index finger on fret on M um, string on the B string. And right after I pluck that fret eight on the B string, I slap my hand down on the strings like so. And then I pick fret 10 with my index finger on the G string. And then thumb on the low C. And then index finger on the open D. So thumb, index, thumb, index, slap, index, thumb, index. Then the next part goes like this. So you start with this chord shape here. So check out the chord diagram for that. I'm using my thumb on fret three on the low C, barring three on the D and G strings with my first finger and then fretting fret four on the B string with my third finger. So that's the chord shape. Apply the picking pattern to that and it sounds like this. And then what you're gonna do is slap down on the strings again and then let go of that chord shape because we're gonna move to another chord shape. But before we do that, we're gonna do this. So that is five. On the D string, you're gonna pluck that with your index finger and then thumb on the low C and six on the D with the index finger. So thumb, index, thumb, index, slap, index, thumb, index. So that whole bar goes like this. The first part of the second bar goes like this. So you're going to use
use this card shape here. Again, check out the card diagram, make sure your fingers are in the right place. So apply that pecking pattern to the chord once again, thumb, index, thumb, index. And then again, as you hit that last note, slap down on the strings and pluck fret three, still holding the chord, pluck fret three with your index finger on the G string. And then slap again, and this time pluck the open G string with your index finger. So that's thumb, index, thumb, index, slap, index, slap, index. The last part of the second bar goes like this. Once again. So what's happening there is it's starting with a 16th note triplet and because of the speed of this triplet it would be really tricky to play that with the, just the thumb and index finger. So what I do, I'm not sure if John Mayer does this live because sometimes he doesn't do the 16th note triplet, sometimes he just does this. But in the original track recording he goes. So instead of using our usual picking pattern for this chord, we're going to go thumb, index, middle, and then third finger. And again, the chord shape is the same as the one that we had down here in the first bar, but it starts on fret eight. So once again, that's thumb, index, middle, and third finger. And those first three notes are a 16th note triplet. The last one, obviously not part of the triplet. Now, when you let go of this chord, as you can hear there, the open B string is just gonna ring out. And that just happens naturally. It's not really an intentional note, it just, it just happens because it has to when you let go of that chord. Unless you were to put a sock on, um, on the strings to mute them but then we wouldn't get the open strings. So you let go of the chord and then move to this. So that is 10 on the low C, 10 on the D, seven on the G and eight on the B. And for this last chord, we do use the picking pattern again. So thumb, index, thumb, index. So that last part slowed down, would go like this. So thumb, index, middle, third, pull off, thumb, index, thumb, index. And here's the entire riff played slow. Okay guys, that does it for today's lesson on Neon by John Mayer. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I think this is the first time I've sort of broken down an actual riff bit by bit. So if you did enjoy it, let me know and perhaps I'll do more of this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below or the thumbs up, whatever you call it, and click subscribe for more so that you don't miss any videos in the future. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching.